Alright guys, today I'm doing a video on what screen recorder I use and I'll do a brief review of it, kind of, maybe. <laughs> but I get this uh I get asked this question loads, so I thought I'll just do a video on it and it'll be easier. So the program I use to record my games and stuff like my screen for shout out some days is called Marillis Action. Now um it's actually I'll show you the website, uh I think I've got it up, yeah I do. So you just want to go on the website and then go on store and then online store. So as you can see it's called Action there. It costs £29 to buy uh, $29. And I think I said 29 Yeah, 20 sorry. <laughs> and here's the other products I have. Splash Pro, I think that's like a Sony Vegas like video editor thingamajig. But um, you get a free trial of like all the products they do. So uh, if you've got a spare 20 quid or whatever, buy this. It's probably the best screen recorder. Anyway, I'll show you some of the features. So first off, we'll go to the settings and um, I'll show you the general settings. So blah, 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 blah. That's not really important. Here is um, the recording settings. So it will say uh, video quality. You can choose it. I don't know why mine's on normal. It should really be on high. I'm not going to click it because it might cancel this recording. But you can show um, visualize mouse clicks. That's basically every time I click it will um, make like a like a circle appear, like around my mouse. Overlay graphics. That's like a watermark. So uh, I could put like a picture of my face here or in the middle if I wanted to. Like you can you can do it there. But I'm not going to do that. Here we have the webcam settings. So you can have one or two webcams. Do always record, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go on that because my face is a mystery. <laughs> Unless you go to my school, then you'll probably see me. Anyway, moving on. This is probably the best. This this is the best place in the world. See this thing here, audio balance. I don't know if any other um, software has this feature, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna move it and will it cancel the recording? I don't know. Okay, no. And but basically, uh, system sounds is like game volume, anything that happens, like anything you hear through your speakers or your headphones or whatever. And then microphone is obviously like my voice and your microphone. So I can put this like if the game sounds loud, for example, Seven Days to Die, I'll put it like this maybe. Sorry if that's really loud, but I'll put it like that. So my voice is like. 80 and then the game sounds is 20 or whatever so that makes it a lot easier to hear me bitrate I don't mess with that crap audio devices yeah um I think that's the one built into my laptop maybe I don't know um hood settings that's like uh there's a thing that pops up here that's really annoying you can change the uh positioning of it export settings um don't know what that crap is Automatically split files, that's going to be a pain in the ass just in case you do longer videos. So I'll turn that off just for future. Um, but here's a good one as well. So here's like all the features it has basically. I think there's another one, yeah. And uh, you can customize it to any key on the keyboard. As you see, mine's uh, num1, that's like on the number pad. It says end, I believe. And uh, pausing and resuming is num2. So um, defaultly, it's set. Uh, as F9 and is defaultly even a word? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's it for the settings. Here's a screenshot feature. So uh, not all games have screenshots. Like Minecraft, it's like um, F2, I believe. And like Gary's one's F5, but some games don't have that, so you can just take screenshots by pressing F12. I'll configure it to whatever you want. Uh, here's benchmarking. I think that shows the FPS and all this crap is. Um, you can record the audio separately. So, uh, if, uh, like you know, Seven Days to Die the Zombies are really loud, I could record my my um voice separately and then change the volume on that. But it's um it's harder to do. So, ah, uh, I prefer just to do. See, um, there. Yeah. Uh, also, it has live streaming. Uh, which I think you have to pay like three quid a month for it or whatever. 
But you can record in 720p. I don't know why that's blacked out. Maybe I can't use it or something. But you can change the um, frame rate. Well, I'll just have it as 30 because YouTube only allows you to have 30. Bit rate again. I'm not messing with that crap. But here you go. You can stream to all these uh, live stream places or a custom one. So if there's one which isn't on the list. And I only know of uh, Twitch and YouTube. But there's probably more. And um, lastly we have this tab which you'll probably spend most of your time in. So recording mode. You see that like controller. Basically if you have Minecraft open and any other game like Gary's Mod, 7 Day Style, whatever. If you have it on uh, this mode, it will just record this. Like it won't record your screen; it will record the game. I think it's like oh yeah, DirectX and OpenGL. Uh, this mode that's on one is a uh, record your screen, like active desktop. It's called, and this one is um for playing Happy Wheels. So it gives you like a tiny box, but you can change the size of it. So if you only want to record, say, like this box here, I could click on it. I'm not going to because it will cancel the uh, recording. But uh, if I clicked on that, I could just like select on the from here to here, and it only record that. So that's pretty cool. File format: it's AVI and MP4. I believe AVI is better. Don't know. <laughs> but um, video size: you can have it to original quality or 1080p, like recording. I have it at 1080p because it just makes the file size smaller. Because on this, the file sizes are quite um, you know, big. It's like for 17 minute video it's like 10 gigabytes or whatever I have to compress it video frame rate again blah 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 have it on 30 duration you can set it so it would be at like half an hour so at half an hour it would just cut off I don't have that on because that's just be stupid uh, record system sounds you want that checked so like it will record the game volume and stuff and allow multi channel audio recording I don't know what that is would have it checked anyway and a uh, microphone, you always want that on. Like, well, if you don't want to record your voice, you don't have that on. But, um, yeah, this was a Marillis Action review, I suppose. If you're going to get this over, like, get it over Fraps or whatever, because this is way better than Fraps. Um, another good one is Bandicam, but I don't think the, like, I used to use Bandicam and the audio quality was worse on Bandicam, but on this it's way better, so, uh, yeah, if you're gonna get a recording software, whatever, get go for this one. It's really good. So uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.